If you spent much time with Outlook 2013, you've probably seen that little link in the upper right of your email window that says, Get More Apps. Well, apps are actually a, a new function that's built into Outlook 2013 as well as Exchange 2013 that allow you to modify the entire Outlook client experience. In an unmanaged environment, apps can be installed by any user, but as an administrator, you can actually use Exchange 2013 to install your own apps on all the Outlook clients that exist in your infrastructure. I recently put together a, a series on Exchange 2013 in the 70-341 exam for CBT Nuggets, and in this upcoming Micro Nugget, I explained to you how you can add your own Exchange 2013 apps into your Outlook client experience. When you go over to Outlook itself, you may have seen the fact that here at Outlook 2013, I have the ability to uh, roll in some of these, these, these apps directly into the Outlook experience. And so if I wanted to, I could identify that this message includes the person G Shields on it. And if I have a LinkedIn account, I could just log into my LinkedIn account and see more information about who that user is. Well, as a user, I can get more apps if I want by clicking to get more apps for Outlook from this location. But as an administrator, I might not, I, I might want to, 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 pre-provision some of those apps out for my users. Now, by default, Action Items, Bing Maps, Suggested Meetings, and Unsubscribe are four of the apps that are available out of the box. I've actually added this LinkedIn app as a fifth app, just so you can see what it looks like. If you want to add an app, you can add an app from a URL or from a file, or you can add one from the Office Store. So, for example, if your developers were to create an app, they could just give you the installation for it. You could uh, import it here into your Exchange Admin Center and then deploy it out to any of the Outlook clients or OA experiences that are connecting up here into your Exchange organization. If you didn't feel like getting one from your developers, you just wanted to get one from the Office Store, well, you can click here locate the Office Store, and then find whatever app you're interested in downloading. So for example, if I'm looking for, I don't know, what kind of app am I looking for here? Uh, maybe the Twitter app. So if I'm looking to add in the Twitter app into my Outlook experience and have it pre-provisioned down for my users, I can just click the Add button here. That will bring me to the page. This should look very similar to the app stores that you've probably played with on any of your mobile devices. And when I click the Add button, it actually takes that app and then adds it directly into my Exchange organization. It's kind of a neat little way in which this thing actually gets configured. So once it get, gets added into the Exchange organization, I'll end up finding it down here, right there. There's the Twitter app that I've now added. Notice that when it's added in, it starts in the default, or in the optional but disabled by default setting. And I can set it so that it's now enabled by default, or if it's even mandatory for the users that are out there. My guess is that you would probably make mandatory any apps that are, for example, internal. Um, if I'm guessing you probably wouldn't make Twitter a required app unless you're a very Twitter-centric uh, Twitter centric organization. But uh, this, once you create these, uh, the next time your Outlook client goes about downloading its stuff, well, you'll end up seeing these apps that'll appear in various places uh, inside of the experience here in Outlook and again in Outlook Web App. Two commandlets you should be aware of when it comes to apps. The first one is get app, which will obviously get you the app information, get you the, the, the characteristics of those apps. The second one is set app. And set app really just, or excuse me, not get app, set app. It's a get help set app. Uh, what set app is there for is to essentially give you that PowerShell command uh, interface for setting the configuration of apps for deploying those apps out to the people in your organization. You'll have to install the app first. Then once you've installed the app, you can then uh, use Get App and Set App to, to actually complete that. Want to learn more? Check out cbtnuggets.com.